Bro, what are you, what Man, is going on? Why am I hearing you pregnant? Who you heard that from? It don't matter. Are you pregnant? I might be. By who? I mean, how could it be you if you ain't even home? You never here. So I don't even wait, see wait, wait, you. Wait, wait, I gotta wait. call you, pencil that in, to even have time with you. So you saying you pregnant? It's not mine, and you living here? Why pay all the bills at? That's the least you could. Are you like my kids? That's the least you could do. What you mean? You've been neglecting me for a long time. So you got a baby on me? That's why I gotta hear from your rest. Why are you even hearing from her anyway? Why y'all talking in the first place? That that's matter. what I mean. That's the stuff that I've been talking about. That's what I mean. It's simple stuff like that. You can't talk to me, but you can talk to her. How'd that make sense? You think I'm stupid? You sitting up here with a secret baby. You talking about talking. What was you gonna say no thing? secret. You just didn't know about it. So what is that called? You are, you a secret. It's called you look, you was out of the loop. You just needed to get out of the loop. But you but you and my We got a whole kid together. You is that is that my kid? Keisha, we could we can find out. We Keisha, can call Keisha, more Keisha, if you Keisha, want to call Keisha, more. Is that my kid? Call more if you want to call more. So you saying it's not my kid? I'm saying it's a possibility. That a six year old is not my kid. When have you spent time with me? When have you been around? I'm always working you know, Instagram, always talking. It makes money. What you mean? I, I'm paying everything. Okay? Yeah. Like, come on, you for real? And you could just come talk to me or nothing? I've been trying to talk to you. I've been trying to call you. I've been trying to have conversation with you. I tried to set up date night. You wasn't worried you know about it. It's all you wasn't worried you, you, about you, you it. You're right. You're right. You're right. Look, it's a date night. And talking. Get your bag and get out. You really couldn't do this right now. Man, what option are you giving me? What you want me to do? Play daddy daycare here? No. Not doing that. You gonna sit up here and lay in the bed while you pregnant? Like how long was you gonna keep this up? Was you gonna say anything in, at all? I mean, what do you sit here and tell me what you doing when you gone all hours of the night when you don't come back for two and three days? But you working though, right? You yeah. working? Cause what job has you gone for that long? And let me guess, your phone just don't got it. You don't have a charger. Your phone just don't work. Your thumbs broke. You don't have a way to communicate with nobody. The difference is, ain't nobody telling you nothing. You, you ain't my friend. But you on the other end, your friend, yeah, they quit to tell me how you pick that other guy. Your friend, because all your friends trying to talk to me in the first place. Whatever, man, I ain't trying to do all this, got a little boy in there. Get your stuff and get out for real, Keisha. You gotta go. I ain't doing this. Whatever, you don't need it. Dog, you ain't getting pretty, I'm crazy. Whatever. Come out and neglect. 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 If you wanted something more to happen, then you should have been here. You should have been here. Wow. Yo, I hope to God this is a skit. But either way, I seriously doubt that this hasn't happened to numerous guys. I mean, I, I don't even know where to begin. First of all, you felt like he was being neglectful because he's always working. And and this is this is one of those catch 22 situations fellas where if you work a lot you know then all of a sudden no you're not around you don't spend enough time with me you're neglecting me Let, let's cut the crap there, there's chicks out here that are looking for excuses to go out and do stuff they ain't got no business doing and they'll use anything for an excuse they'll use the fact that you work all the time they'll use the fact that you don't have emotional intelligence or they'll use the fact that you know you don't have the same love language as them all of these new age goofy excuses that are being used for them to behave in a debaucherous unladylike manner now, now just think about it for a second she's laid up in his bed in his household that he's paying bills for while she's pregnant with another dude's child and then when he asks about his six-year-old, she's sitting there. Well, let me tell y'all fellas something. If you ask your woman a question of this magnitude, and the first thing she does is start scratching her head like a like a Amos and Andy skit. She starts scratching her head like, like Chicken George. Bruh, it's, it's a done deal. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. Like, this is ridiculous. Like, I, I, I don't, 
the nerve, the nerve, the unmitigated gall. Like, yo, there are a lot of you women out here. You're, you're playing a very dangerous game. And, and the crazy thing is you play this dangerous game as if there are no high stakes. You don't know how that man's going to react to you getting pregnant by another man while he's paying for your whole lifestyle. You don't know how that man's going to react when he finds out a child he's been taking care of for six to 10 to 15 years isn't his child. Like, yo, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. There, there's no if ands and buts about it and did you see how she sat there and tried to gaslight the man did you see how she sat there and tried to manipulate the man well of course it's not yours because you're barely around so it's his fault that you went out and got pregnant it's his fault that you went out and let some random rodney raw dog you that's his fault like, this is unbelievable. You, you should have been around. You should have. Fellas, I'm telling you right now. You need to pay more attention. And be more careful. About who you deal with. If you choose to deal with someone. Because the game that these women are playing out here is ridiculous. It is a ridiculous game. And in the end, nobody seems to win.